never get enough track oh! Oh! I'm in Colombia, bitch. Yo, what's good? It's Monday in freaking Colombia. What is good? I'm gonna make this quick because I'm holding everybody up for breakfast. But you know, hopefully this podcast grows and it becomes so big that God damn it, I buy my whole family houses. So that way, the breakfast delay is worth it. What's good? We're talking about dunk tips and life lives. Okay, Mond. Oh, it's Monday. <laughs> Extra motivation today. What's good? I don't know if this mic's even working. Sounded yesterday like I picked up everything around it, but if I hold it, credibility looks like I'm doing something professional. Anyway, feeling really good. Yesterday got a workout in. Before breakfast today, I'm going to go to breakfast and then work out later in the middle of the day when it's like peak sun because I got burnt yesterday, but feeling great. It's been amazing. Just coffee, sunshine, beach, salt water, rejuvenation, replenish, nature, nurture, skin, everything's been perfect. Food's been really good. Went to Old Town yesterday. If you haven't seen my Instagram, Stephen Dunks, underscore in the middle. I posted some sick pictures. I love taking pictures. This camera I have, the Sony with the Sigma lens, has such good colors. I was also thinking about doing some content about content on my channel. So definitely let me know if you're interested on that because I've been doing YouTube for a while. I'm super into film and uh, photography. So I know a lot about that too. A lot of tips um, that I, I can share that I really love. Anyway, what I want to talk about today, the reason why I brought up breakfast and all that things is because it feels like throughout the day or throughout your life, you kind of set up these barriers, or at least I did. And the more you expand those barriers or reduce them, the easier your life is. Because a lot of times you have things set the way you want. And this is exactly a perfect episode for my podcast because the way I used to dunk was I used to have a certain time I would eat and then I'd have a certain window to get to the gym. I have a lot of coffee in my blood already. I'm already like jittery. Um, cheers. There was a certain time I needed to get to the gym to feel fueled. And then if I missed that window, then I would feel like malnourished. Or if I went too early, I'd feel like I was full. Um, different things like that. Or if I took pre-workout and just start working out like 20 minutes after or else it's like too much. The point is, is it was very like strict guidelines to how I was living, how I was training. Um, and if it didn't go well, it was in my head like, oh, shoot, I don't have enough food. I don't feel great. I don't feel optimal. And it made it very difficult mentally and just I wouldn't perform well. But now I do like the intermittent fasting. I'm not saying that's what you need to do, but it's just an example of that. When I do intermittent fasting, I, I fuel up the night before. And then when I wake up, say it's 7 or 8, usually around 7.30, 8, I can go to the gym anytime. I don't have to eat. I don't have to worry about it. I can have a little bit of a snack, tiny bit of like fruit or something like that or a banana, which is fruit. And I go and I can go anytime throughout the day from nine in the morning to like six at night with just a little bit of a snack. But I have such more, way more flexibility in my training and things. And I just feel like that's the way life works. When you travel, a lot of times when I first started traveling, it's like it's out of your comfort zone. It's you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the language. You don't know how to like exchange money, all those different things. But once you do it once, it becomes known. And then you're your experience gets so much wider of what you know that it makes it so much easier the next time around. But going back to the life side of things, it's like that's your inner, inner peace. Is like you have all these things that people say to you or way things should happen. If they don't go that, that according to how you expect them to go, it disrupts your peace. So if you just widen that or don't have any guidelines or don't have let nothing bother you. Your experience is so much easier as you walk through life. And that's, I, I'm going to come up with a good analogy for that. I kind of did with the dunk. That's why I always use the dunk metaphors because it's really easy. But just think of it as like bumpers on a, on a, uh, not bumpers on a bowling alley, but just think of bumpers in your life as like you stay within those bumpers. And as soon as someone's like, you get outside those bumpers, you're like, ah, you freak out. But if you widen those bumpers super wide, then you never get stressed out. You never get your inner peace disturbed. And it also, if you completely remove them, if nothing, if that's the best way to live, at least in my opinion, in my experience, and that's what I love. I guess we'll just call it the sweet barriers of life for today. But uh, <laughs> that's a shout out to my man, Vince, um, if he listens. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm keeping it super short so we can just keep that energy rolling. Feeling so good though. I'm gonna, I haven't found courts. There's no courts nearby. They're not big into basketball. One guy said, one taxi driver said they're big into basketball, but it's kind of far. So maybe we'll take a taxi into town one day and go dunk. I'm feeling like I could just freaking shut down a rim. I would destroy it if it's an outdoor rim. I think I had a dream of that. Oh, speaking of dreams, I had a dream I was driving a Tesla. Elon Musk was my passenger and I was pointing out things I didn't 
did and didn't like about the the new Tesla, like creatively, like he was liking my creative decisions. I was like saying there should be a button here. I didn't like the way my leg felt a fit. And I looked over and it was Elon. I'm like, dude. And I told him like, dude, this is surreal. I can't believe you're in my car. He's like, I know it's great to be here. Like we were friends. (laughs) Okay. So on this day in history, every day you can make history. Let's see what happened today. 1588, the battle of Graveline, Spanish armada damaged and scattered by the English fleet. Okay. Yesterday, my mom said I should go through these <laughs> um, beforehand, but I like the surprise. 1848, bro, the Irish potato famine. God damn it. Um, anything else? Today in film, 1928, test footage first created for Walt Disney Steamboat Willie with Mickey Mouse. I just watched that this weekend on Saturday before we left. Or no, Friday night before we left for this trip. I just watched Steamboat Willie. I love those old cartoon, cartoons of Mickey Mouse. It's just like silent. There's no words. And things just happen. It's hilarious. You should go watch Steamboat Willie. Just wa- it's on YouTube, actually. Today in music, 1973, Led Zeppelin have more than $200,000 in cash stolen from a safety deposit box at the New York Hilton. God damn. Weird. Today in sports, 1751, first international world t- title prize fight jack stack of england beats challenger m pen of france what sport boxing i don't know anyway that's today what else is going to happen today today i'm going to friggin go nuts i'm going to get more sun i'm feeling really tan slept for seven and a half hours and then last but not least dunk lifer of the day you guys loved it when my mom showed up today she can't handle it she can't keep up no she just didn't want to go too much all right smoke with a zero as the o I've got two things I look forward to in life at the moment. That's your videos and hitting the gym. Please never stop posting. You're the most inspiring YouTuber on this platform. That comment is way too much for me to handle. Thank you so much. It's amazing. Elite Ralph. Hi, Steven. I'm so inspired with you. Thank you. And then Heroes S1. Actually, y'all don't need to hold the mic. Seems like it's recording all around. That's how I realized that and I listened to it. But I listened to it beforehand. I'm like, I don't think this is working. And then you guys notice as well. So keep me on my toes. Let's go. Day two in Columbia. Morning number two. It's just beautiful. The beach is right there. We literally walk to it. It feels so good to just lay in the ocean and float. That's how I want my life, by the way. I want to be able to walk to the beach. All right. I got to eat and live. Enjoy your day. Make the most out of Monday. Make the most out of Monday. That's it. Motivation Monday. More Monday. uh, Maximize Monday. Uh, Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro. Ended up making an anthem.